It was a year ago that the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools opened a business called the Kids Cafe. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how this unique business enterprise is transforming the lives of young adults with special needs. Juanita. The Kids Cafe was designed to give adults with special needs the skills needed to land a job and live an independent life. The cafe is doing that while at the same time becoming a thriving downtown business. 21-year-old Jamie Murphy operating the cash register during a busy lunch hour at the Kids Cafe located on the Fulton Mall. To the average customer, this may not seem out of the ordinary. But for those who know Jamie, a special needs student in the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools adult transition program, this is a big deal. It makes me feel happy because I, at first I was shy and then I wasn't shy no more. It was a year ago this January that the Kids Cafe opened its doors. The cafe is a business started by the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, designed to give the county special needs adult students work experience. You know, it warms my heart to, to see what's happened with our young men and women who work here, but really the community who, who steps through this door. I think it's, it's restored a lot of community uh, uh, support and awareness around kids with special needs. Cafe manager Paul Romero says when it comes to measuring just how well the restaurant is doing, he looks at the students who work here. He says a year ago, Jamie was so shy she wouldn't look at you, would cover her face. Now look at her. To see her growth uh, and see the growth of our other students, I think is our biggest measure. Uh, we've come a long way with food. We've come a long way with, uh, with being known in the Fulton Mall. Uh, but the biggest way we've come is in our students growing from where they were at the beginning to where they are now. The students help prepare the food. Use utensils like knives. They can safely be around an oven. A deaf student uses sign language to communicate in the kitchen and does just fine. They've learned one of the basics of being a good employee, customer service. And so really it's looking at how can we teach them those skills to get a job. They want to get a job just like every, like all of us and, and be, you know, productive part of their community and to give back to the community. And I think that's been one of the things that's just been amazing is to see the public and the community outreach. The Kids Cafe, as a business, is thriving. Located on the Fulton Mall, it weathered the mall renovation with loyal downtown customers. Employees from the Sheriff's Department, Courthouse, and County <laughs> Office of Education are regulars. Our soups are, are the most popular thing in our restaurant, a poblano chowder. I think everyone mentions how delicious our poblano chowder is. Um, but our, our sandwiches are great as well. And don't forget those homemade potato chips. Program manager Leah Spate says they are always looking for new opportunities for the restaurant and students. So since we've opened about a year ago, um, we have been trying to add new things all along. We have quite the business plan in front of us. There we go. Students offer a morning delivery service. They load up a cart with coffee and breakfast pastries and deliver to the county office. <laughs> the goal is to have them deliver to other businesses. I think it's important for the community to see that they can do work that everybody else can do and that they're capable and they're some of the best workers I have ever seen. Spate says she hopes the exposure will encourage others in the restaurant business to hire young people with special needs. They can do the work. Jamie says she knows where she wants to work when she graduates from the program. I was hoping to come back to here because, like, um, once you work at the Kids Cafe, it has touched your heart. Now, the work program at the Kids Cafe was designed for students in the adult transition program. It goes up to age 21, mm -hmm. but they are hoping to bring it down to high school level so that the kids in high school can also begin what? getting that experience. Something for their resume so they can exactly. if they want to move on to another restaurant. And now there is convenient parking. So 
it really does make it, it easier for people to stop in. It, exactly. I love the parking and I love the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Have to give it a try. Yeah. AJ says he's been there and yeah. it's fantastic. Food is great. Wonderful. Thank you, Juanita.